Hello, 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 hello. Pharmacist Valerie Johnson Hawkins, how are you doing on today? You are wonderfully and beautifully made. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day is for some of us is all year round. I mean, it's not just one particular day that we are mothers. We were predestinated. We were ordained um, from the foundations of the earth. God said, listen, you should bring forth a son. You should bring forth a daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. And I shall be with you as you raise them, as you nourish them. And he equipped us and he told us what to do and how to do. I mean, they said there's nothing new under the sun. We learn from our mothers. We learn from our grandmothers. We, we stand on the backs of some very strong women that have one before us. And kudos off to them uh, on today. There's a lot of mothers that's not here, some that have passed on. And I know that people are struggling. I know that people are going through. But let me tell you this. As long as you can look at your hands, you see something of your mother's. Look at your skin. Look at your eyes. Look at your feet. Look at your body. She lives on through you. She lives on through your lineage. Oh, in the name of Jesus. She lives on in your song. She lives on in your dreams. Look at some people. Look at your hair. Look how you dress. Look how you act. Listen to your conversation that you have. She has instilled things that are in you that was in you from the foundations of this earth she carried you for nine months come on somebody and she carried you she was happy she was sad she went up she went down she ran around a mulberry bush she went around a mountain she met people some people she liked some people she didn't like you you know her characteristics you felt them in your in while you was being carried by her she labored and brought you forth to this world she took you to kindergarten she washed the women only before we get to kindergarten she washed you up she cleaned you when you couldn't help yourself come on somebody she fed you she stayed in with you when you was sick when you was tired when you had colic she stayed in there with you she went and got you some mint tea she said listen let me fix my baby up let me rub on his stomach <laughs> let me get let me hurry up and get him together so he can go to sleep. This is a mother, you know. She didn't pass you to the left. She didn't pass you to the right. She said, "This is my child. I'm gonna raise my child." Some of us was young mothers, you know. We had help from our grandmas. We had help from our mom, but we didn't shake the responsibility. But it made us by having that child made us. We it made us go out there and want more and do more for our children. You know, they had to have the shoes. They had to have the socks. They had to have the underwear. They had to have when they got older training bras. They had to have stuff for baseball, football. They had to have stuff for track. They had to have stuff for uh, uh, when they had to do projects at school. We was there. We was mothers. And we was doing it. We was doing it. We was getting We was working. We was getting it done. We was cooking dinner. We was making sure the house was clean. We was making sure their needs was met. And we were mothers and we were doing it. I don't understand about some of these mothers on today that said that they can't do it because we had to do it all. But back to what I'm saying, happy Mother's Day unto you. Happy Mother's Day unto you. And many, 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 many more. You're not forgotten about it. You were predestined. You were preordained. God himself said, listen, you shall bring forth a child. You're going to bring forth a male child. You're going to bring forth a female child. And I'm going to equip you. Equip you. I'm going to put set provisions for you. I'm going to teach you how to love them. They shall love you. Now, they wasn't always obedient. We wasn't either. We have to look at ourselves and that's, hmm, there are times where they rebelled, but it did not make us less a mother. For those of us who stayed in there, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, protect them from all hurt, harm, and danger. <laughs> when they got older, you know, on the highways and the Bibles of this life, oh God, go before them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your blood cover them, oh God. Don't let them be amongst these uh, haters and non-motivators and these infiltrators. Don't let them be amongst them, oh God. Don't let them be amongst the ones that just want to be around them for their money. That was my mother's favorite. Don't let them. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't let them just be uh, be around just because they don't have and my one and mine does have, Lord. Then we turn around and we say, "Listen, are we raising them right? Did we say the right thing? Did do they need anything? Is there any shortcomings? Some of them we spoiled too much, and God had to come and say, "Step back, Mom. Allow me to be God. Allow me to help raise them. You know, allow me to come in." And help mature him as to be a man. And help mature her as to be a woman. And we think about these things. It's not about so much what they buy for us. But it's so much of the acknowledgement of saying, that's my mom. And my mother was here for me. It's happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. You labored. Your fault. You got here. You made something of yourself. You're on this side of contradiction. Oh, enjoy your Mother's Day. Let them get your nails done. Your hair done. We know it's really not about that. It's about spending time with them that when they're older because what we put into them when they were younger and for those of you who are young mothers put everything into your children i'm telling you so seeds so seeds into your children love them 
talk to them, conversate with them, bring them nigh. That means bring them close to you. Let them understand who you are because one day you won't be here. And you want to be able to know that you know that you know that you did everything you could as a mother, as a young mother growing up, everything you could as a as a mother in their teen in their adolescent years to their teenage years. Some of them go to college. You did everything. Yes, it's going to be hard at times. It's hard even now. Our children are older. For us older mothers, us we supposed to be sharing that wisdom, throwing it back, reaching back and saying, "Listen, let me help you." But young ladies, guess what? You gotta allow us to allow us to help you. We're not here to take over, but we're yet, we yet here to let you know, listen, what worked for us, some of the things that was handed down to us, we want to share with you. We don't want to take over. We just want to share with you. I don't know where that came from, but I just had to throw that in there real quick because tomorrow is Mother's Day and it's not about so much of things. It's it's just about time. You get to a place where you says, God, I wish I, I more time, more time with the children. I want to understand my grandchildren and plus you have to understand that as mothers, we're learning how to be exactly what we need to be to help fulfill anything that you need as a mother. We're going to make sure you eat. We're going to make sure you got something, uh, 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 a roof over your head. We're going to make sure you get to school. We're going to make sure that your stuff is on time. We, we're teaching you these things. This is called structure. This is part of being a mother. This is part of us loving you and attending to your needs. This is part of us saying, you know what? I can't go to sleep until I wash their clothes. I can't. They got to have this costume for um, Halloween. They got to be look like this for Easter. They got to have this for their birthday. I, they got to have this. They got to have that. When they're sick, they, I, they're just like, like every other kid. I got to make sure that they brush their teeth. I got to make sure that the, my daughter knows how to comb her hair. I got to make sure that the qualities I have as a woman is instilled in her. I got to make sure if I'm a single mother, the qualities that I have, the strength that I have is instilled in my son. And even if you're a two-parent family, you still want to be able to share and share those things that you have into your lineage. So you can sit back and say, listen, that's my grandchild. That's my lineage. Those are the things that I taught my son and those are the things that I taught my mother. On Mother's Day, we're thinking of all of this. We just want to be in the midst of it all. And we're so happy to see another Mother's Day and understand what it is to be a woman and what it is to be a mother and what it is to make it through. We made it through the storm. We've in a place now that we can sit back and say, listen, I'm so glad that God predestinated me, preordained me, chose me, picked me out, set me aside to be a mother. What a quality. I'm so glad that God smiled on me. He smiled on me. He smiled on me. And he gave you, he made me a mother through you. He made me a mother through my children and my children's children. He made me a mother. He said, then you look at yourself. You said, mom, I thank you. Look at my hands. My hands look like my mother. My skin looks like my mother. I have her attributes. I, I don't have all of them, but I have some of them. I have her qualities. I walk like her sometimes. I talk like her sometimes. I cook like her sometimes. I remember her favorite meal. Let me share something with you because there are some people out there that have recently lost their mothers. Let me share this with you. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I know that you hear that time and time again, but we bring that up to let you know, listen, if she's with the Lord and you have a relationship with the Lord, you are not lost. She has not left you. And you'll see her again one day. You say, well, God, how's my mother doing? Is she all right? Get into a place with God. Get on your knees and pray with him. Ask about your mother. Talk to him about your mother. You know, and I'm telling you that God will bring in the peace, the pain as days go on. The pain will lighten. Yeah, you're going to miss your best friend. Yeah, you're going to miss her. You're going to, you hope to see her. You want her to be here with you physically, but she's not. So you got to get in a place where you can try to attach to her and you get there with God. You say, listen to God, I'm thinking about my mother on today. Just let me smell some perfume. Just let me feel her, feel her fragrance, her, her, her presence. Oh God, let me smell her fragrance. And then you find, you say, I got a whiff. Oh my God. It's like, I, it's like God gave me that. And I'm here to tell you, if God did that thing for me and I was going through with my mother and God, I prayed and I cried. I fasted. I prayed. I cried and I fasted. Now, if you fast, remember, take something with your, do what the doctor tell you to do. Do what he tell you to do when it comes to that fasting because follow the doctor's orders and take your medicine, take your food or seek him first. Because I have to stop and say that. Because I don't want somebody fasting and they're not taking their medicine right. I don't want that on me. You better do what you got to do to come and get a doctor. 
I'm just saying. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. But now, when you go before God, like God gave me, God put me in a deep, deep sleep and gave me a dream about my mother and gave me closure. Because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that closure. When that closure brings that peace. Ooh, bless the wonderful name of the Lord. And peace surpasses all understanding. And I think about Virginia all the time. I think about Jenny. I think about her all the time. But it's the pain that was there. It's like God took the bite out of the lion. He took the bite out of the serpent. He took the I, I go through it, but it's not it doesn't have the same sting that it had when she first left me. Now I can I can be able to deal with it. I can be able to say, okay, mom, I can talk, say, Mom, ooh, girl, where you at? Girl, I'm going through today. Where you at, girl? I wish she was here. And I and I can say it with a with a with a good conscience and a clean heart. And my heart says, ooh. Sometimes I do think about her. Sometimes tears do fall, but they're not tears of sadness because I was good to my mother. I was there for her. I was. I love my mother. I did everything that God told me to do by her. So I don't have sorrow when it comes to my mother. I don't have regret when it comes to my mother. I have good things. I remember the good times. I remember her coming. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I remember my mother coming. <laughs> and I said, girl, let me tell you something. It's some things you got to do and some things you don't. But one thing you got to do is keep that cat clean. Go out there and wash that thing up. Don't nobody want to smell you. I mean, these are the things in cotton underwear and, oh, God. Get in here, girl, so you can learn how to cook. Get in here, girl. This is what a man like. My mother would sit and begin to teach me. My mother taught me. She was a mother. To do the four corners on the bed. Make sure you cook it like this. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Sometimes I didn't want to hear it, but I'm so glad. Because now everything comes back. Everything comes back. Not only the things that she said. I remember hot meals. I remember moto meal. And I remember uh, uh, cream of wheat. And I remember oatmeal. And I remember black and white TVs. And mama in the kitchen talking mess. And said, here, here y'all go. I got to make sure y'all eat because I got something to go tonight. I remember, <laughs> I remember oh, spaghetti. In, in So much spaghetti in the refrigerator because she worked all week long. These are the things that mothers do because we look for toward the future. I remember her sleeping light because her being a single mother at a time and being in the house with us and said, "Listen, you don't go so you don't sleep so deep till you can't hear what's going on in your house." I remember her coming in, checking in on the checking in on us. Don't you remember those things about your mother? Remember her dancing and getting down and say, "Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it." Dancing with her plants. And I seen those things. I remember those things. And she instilled those things. It's not so much what she said, but it's so much what she did. And let me tell I'm so glad. I'm so glad that my mother was predestined to be a mother. And I'm so glad that I was too. I'm so glad that I'm on this side of the competition. And let me tell you something. A predestinated mother. You are predestinated, preordained, chosen, set aside. God said you was going to bring forth a child, bring forth a boy or a girl. And you did that thing. You labored. You went through the pain. You went through the heartache. You went through the awkwardness. You you were sick. You went through it. You did that thing. And you labored and you brought forth a child. And nobody can take that away from you. i said say it again. And nobody can take that away from you. You are a mother. Tomorrow is your day. Today is your day. Next week is your week. Next month is your month. This month is your month. The year is your year. Every day is Mother's Day because God predestinated you. He preordained you. Everything he made was good. Yeah, you wasn't right all the time. I wasn't right all the time. But let me tell you this. But I was right about this. I chose to be a mother. And I'm so glad that I did. I came on here to say Happy Mother's Day. I didn't come on here for all of that. I want you guys to know that God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Look at your hands. Look at your feet. Look at your face. Look at your skin. Look at the qualities that she instilled in you. Remember the conversations that she gave you. Remember the good times. She was my best friend. Woo. She was my best friend. And ain't nobody going to love you like your mother. But let me tell you this. She taught me that. And I can love my children. And I love my children. I love to be a mother. I love, I had some good times. I had some bad times. I had some mountain highs. I had some valley lows. But don't you know that the kids, when I didn't believe in myself, my kids believed in me. And I'm here to tell you today that the same thing. It's not with so much what you can give them or what you can't give them. I don't know why that's dropping into my spirit. You just being there alone. I don't care if you just sitting around them, reading the book. That's enough for a child. Just so they would know, 
That's my mama. And for you grandmothers that's raising your children, mama, 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 mama. Oh, bless the wonderful name of the Lord. I thank God for you grandmothers that's raising your children. I thank God for you women that stepped up, you aunties that's raising, your, that's raising these children. I thank God for you aunties that's raising these children. I'm not going to leave you out. Happy Mother's Day. May God bless you. May God keep you. May you may you be ha have joyous times, happy times. May God strengthen you to go through with your children and with yourself because you made it. You did that thing. You came through the storm. And whatsoever you have sown, that too shall you also reap. May God bless you. May God keep you. I wrote down some things. I just want to reiterate some things before I get off here. Don't you know that every bit of her is in you? Learn behavior. Grandmothers raising their children. I did talk about that. I want to make sure because you know I write down everything. And I tell you to write down everything. You were predestinated. God bless you as a mother. I want to raise you. Your, your ethics. Um, your woes. Your characteristics. Your attributes. Look at yourself. Look at your hands. Look at your feet. I'll say it again. It's important. I know I'm saying it. I'm reiterating this because a lot of people are going through and they forget that their mother is with them. What she instilled in you, can't nobody take. Can't nobody take that from you. Can Ain't nothing in the book. I didn't think I already said it. Can nobody take away from you what your mother has done for you? And can nobody take from you, mother, on today what your mother has done for you? I'm here to say Happy Mother's Day. Kudos off to you. I could not lay down and I could not go to sleep without sharing that with you. I thank God that you're strong. I pull from your strength. I thank God for the grandmothers and the great grandmothers. We're standing on some mighty women's shoulders. I thank God for the conversations. I thank God. I thank God for teaching us and taking time. I, I, I Listen, I'm telling you, as a woman on today, I go through enough in regular life. And then as being a mother, on top of that, oh my God, I can imagine what my mother had to go through just being a woman. But she made it and she did it because women are endurers. And we were we we endure, we take it, we keep going, we take a licking, but we keep on ticking. <laughs> and that's what God did for us. When he put Adam to sleep, he knew what he was doing with us. He created something. Let me tell you, when everything he made, he it was good. I love you all today, my God bless you. Night night and good night.